Aaron Tyone joked on the field that the starters coming into the series said, why don't we all just pitch seven or eight innings? And he was a little nervous heading into to this evening. How do you, what do you think about the way he responded? Very well. <laughs> uh, he was great. Um, pitch efficient on the attack. Uh, you know, he had that one three ball count, but rallied in it. Um, yeah, I thought the defense behind him was really good. N number of good plays around the horn, but he was in control of the game and um, had a little bit of everything going and uh, got the ball to Clay there to finish it off. But just, just another great performance from one of our starters. He was pretty economical, 93 pitches through eight. Any consideration of sending him back out there? No. No, I was, I was going to Clay there in a safe situation. Had we tacked on a couple runs, um, then I would have considered going to him there, but I was going to go to Clay there in the ninth. The thing about blocks, I mean, it's not just him and the whole staff is not walking him up. Was that a point of emphasis in spring training or something? How, how no, I think it's been a point of emphasis for, you know, years now. You know, you, you got to be in the strike zone. Um, you know, you... You know, obviously getting the heads important, strike throwing is really important, and then it, when you're doing that, then you can start leveraging counts and dictating counts, and then you can, you know, start to get chases by moving it off the plate when you have that count leverage. So um, I don't think it put a, more of a point of emphasis this year than, than it has been in past. He also mentioned he wasn't sure if he necessarily had his best stuff, but just found a way to make big pitches when it mattered. Mm -hmm. did, did you see that as well, or, or did you feel differently? <sighs> I don't know. I felt I felt he was pretty sharp to me. Um, maybe not quite the life that maybe he had his, on his fastball that maybe he had the last couple of times. Um, and and you know there was some sprinkled in some hard contact there against him. But like I said, the defense was was really good. But I thought JMO was, you know, maybe not his best stuff. But I, I thought he was really sharp. Coming into this season, people looked at the rotation like there were question marks. Severino, uh, first full year back. Tyon coming off the surgery. Cole struggles at some point last year, but when you look at what they've done so far, basically all five guys, uh, what can you say about the rotation as a whole? I, I think they've been the best group to this point in the league. Um, you know, we're, I, I caution that with it, it's early and we got to keep doing it, but I'm not surprised that they're going out and pitching as well as they are. I know what they're all capable of and, um, I know how prepared they all are. I know how together they are. All, they all are, and um, and it's good to see them, you know, <clears throat> you know, taking pride in their day and, and and being the next guy to really step up. But I'm not surprised at any of their success. Glaber was talking about the infield defense and how excited they were to play up with Tyone yeah. pitching. How does that? work together, the pitcher and the defense. Yeah, you know, I think anytime you, you get into a good rhythm and, a, and pace, you know, as a, as a fielder, I know, <clears throat> you know, I, I just personally and playing, anytime a guy had, had a good rhythm and pace to him and, and worked, uh, not necessarily all the time quickly, but just a good solid pace to him, it did feel like you were just more, a little bit more engaged, a little bit more on your toes. Um, and I thought JMO certainly did that tonight and certainly set a good tone from that standpoint. And, and you know, the result, I think you look around the diamond, a lot of guys chipped in with some really nice plays. Was yeah, it that guy like a fan of playing two hour, 23 minute games? Yeah, I mean, you guys need to look it up. How many sub three hours? It's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, 223 is really good. Um, man. It wasn't seven. I could almost make it to Burns for. <laughs> but, was the dugout late after uh, Carpenter's home there? What's that? Was the dugout late after Carpenter? Uh, it, was, it was good. Um, pretty fired up. He's he's come in and right away you get a sense he's he's kind of fit in with the group really well. Um, you can really tell he's excited to be here and be a part of this. And uh, you know, for a guy that's had the career he's had, you know to be in here with these guys. I think he, he fits in well. And for him to really make some, some really strong contributions here in these first two games um, has been big. And, and glad to see him have some, some instant success coming over. How hard is that to do when he hasn't played in a week and obviously yeah. hasn't faced major league pitching since last year? Probably a little challenging. But you know, hitting's fickle like that. You know, sometimes you, know, you, you kind of 
have a little down, you pick it up right away. Sometimes it, it takes a minute. So, you know, you never quite know with, with your timing and swing and all, but certainly it's been good to see him have really, I mean, you know, what's he been on base four times probably now. A um, lot of good at bats. Um, you know, and, and, you know, facing a lot of lefties too where he's had really competitive at bats. Um, but, but really good to see. Had it made you and Hicks good the day. Good. They were, would they have been available? If you yeah, I was, I was, you know, if we got in a certain situation, I was kind of had DJ moving to, to potentially uh, hit. So, yeah, they were options. Labor has eight homers already now. I think he had nine last year, the whole year. Uh, what do you see in there? That is the home run swing back or just better bats all around? I, I think... Look, the home runs are going to come and go, and you know sometimes they happen in bunches. Um, I think what what we've seen to this point is just a better quality of contact um, throughout the season, and uh, you know I think that's I think his lower half's been better and getting himself into better, stronger positions more consistently, and that's allowing him to get off some really good swings. And so it's been nice that he's hit the ball out of the ballpark and. Um, some, but but I think overall, you know, and I would I would say he's probably even been a little bit unlucky, you know, with as as consistently as he's hit the ball hard. Um, that's what we're seeing better is consistently just better contact, and I think that starts with his base and, and getting into better positions consistently. What do you think of his catch up the middle? Oh, it's great. I you know off the bat I I didn't think he was even going to be in the vicinity, and then it just kind of. Uh, yeah, it was. I think they got a fist pump from me, so that was that was a good play.